नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जे वी एन डॉक्टर किरण यादव वेलकम टू द डिजिटल सेशन ऑफ ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी दिस सेशन इज फॉर डी टी एंड डी टी प्लस बी टेक थर्ड ट्राइमेस्टर द टॉपिक दैट विल बी डिस्कस्ड इन टूडेज लेक्चर इज इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स सपोज वी हैव अ यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वेर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट लाइक हेयर वी हैव शोन एन इलेक्ट्रिक field and a plane surface s is placed in this electric field then the number of electric lines of force that are passing through this surface is proportional to electric flux so if there is a closed surface in an electric field then electric flux will tell us that how much quantity of uh, electric field lines are passing through that surface so the formula for electric flux can be given as phi e is equals to e into s cos theta where e is electric field and s is the cross sectional area of this surface so basically this is a rectangular surface we can have other surfaces as well and the area of this rectangular surface will be perpendicular to the surface okay like the direction of this area will be perpendicular to the surface so this is this line denotes the direction of vector s uh, and there is an angle theta between e and s okay so this angle theta here is the angle between e and s so this is the formula for electric flux if we write this formula in vector form then we can write it as e dot s phi is equals to e dot s because the dot product of e and s vectors will give us e s cos theta uh, you should remember that electric flux is a scalar quantity it is not a vector quantity it is a scalar quantity the value of it depends upon surface area s electric field e and the angle between surface area vector and electric field that is theta okay an electric flux passing through a surface is proportional to the total electric field lines passing through that surface this angle phi can be positive negative or zero okay so and one thing that you need to remember is when electric field lines move out of the surface then flux is positive and when electric field lines enter the area then flux is negative if the field lines are parallel to the surface then flux is zero okay so if field lines are parallel to the surface then what will be the angle between the surface and the direction of electric field in that case angle will be zero oh sorry angle will be 90 degree okay so the formula for electric flux in that case will be uh, e s cos 90 the value of cos 90 is zero so the electric flux will be zero in that case and when electric flux lines electric field lines move out of the surface then flux is positive if they enter the surface then the flux is negative okay so when the value of electric field is not uniform what do you mean by the value by the terms uniform electric field and non uniform electric field so if i take a region of space like the room in which i am sitting uh, and there is an electric field in this room and the value of electric field at every point in this room is equal then the electric field is uniform electric field and if the value of electric field at different points of the room are different then the electric field is non uniform electric field so okay so if e is not uniform and the surface is not plane then we can divide the whole surface into small small surfaces and we can calculate the value of electric flux through those small small surfaces okay and then in last 
we can add the electric flux calculated for all the surfaces and by adding all these values we can get the total electric flux through the uh, surface so the total so this is so this is the flux for a small area delta s okay uh, similarly we can calculate electric flux for other small areas as well and when we add up the areas it gives the total electric flux which is summation of ei into delta si and if we take delta s to be very small then we can replace the summation sign by an integration sign uh, this thing you must have studied in mathematics either you will have studied it or uh, or it will be in your syllabus in upcoming trimesters so you will study this in future that we can replace summation by integration under such limits okay so the formula for flux can be written as this phi is equals to integration of e dot ds if you have not studied upon integration uh, then just rem remember this formula don't go don't go much deeper into this okay so this is an integration and if the surface is closed if we take a closed surface then for in that case we represent the sign of integration as this okay uh, we draw a circle over the integration sign so this is uh, flux for a closed surface so the unit of flux is newton meter square, meter square per coulomb or volt per meter and the dimension of electric flux is m1 l3 t minus 3 a minus 1 you can also calculate the dimension using the formula which is quite simple so this was uh, introduction about electric flux if you have any doubts please mention in the comment section thank you